Hi there. This is Ben. Welcome to another edition of WatchBots Prime. I hit a big milestone in my Star Trek rewatch last night. I finally hit the episode where Kirk and Uhura have their famous smooch. And it's undoubtedly a big moment, but I forgot just how fucking weird it comes off in the episode itself. So essentially, Kirk and Spock and McCoy and some of the rest of the crew are on this planet where they're being made into like mind slaves. So these guys who model their lives after Plato, it's it's complex, don't ask. Just make them do things like dance. So they put Spock and Nurse Chapel and Kirk and Uhura in some kind of like Greek play. And then they make them smooch in like the most austere manner possible while Kirk glares down at the villain. It is not as romantic as you'd like. Still hot, for sure. Still steaming, but um, I don't know. It's not what I was expecting. I've also hit that point where I'm like, eh, maybe I'm done with this. And I feel like I do this with every aspect of my life. <laughs> like It's like, oh, maybe I should stop Star Trek and watch the James Bond movies. But the whole point of watching Star Trek was to get to Next Generation. And now I'm so close like 10 episodes in the animated series and four movies away. And then it's, eh, it's not doing it for me anymore. This is like Dr. Who and King of the Hill and what else? Rick and Morty <laughs> for various reasons. I don't know. Like, well, what is my problem? I, I do this with video games too, where there are new video games out that I want to play. But I, I tell myself, oh, I can't play the new Borderlands until I play the first two. And it's like, but why? I didn't really play the first two when they were out a decade ago. Why the fuck do I need to play them now? But I have to do this to myself. I can't be happy if, if not. It's, it's like a fear of completion or is it fear of missing out? I don't know. I guess it's not fear of missing out because I'm constantly missing out. Breaking Bad's another one. The the Breaking Bad movies come in out on Netflix. And I went back and I thought, oh, yeah, I watched about five episodes of Breaking Bad. And then I, I petered out. Like, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I'm sure if you walk through my house, there's just a hundred projects left unfinished. You know, woodworking and uh, metallurgy and, I don't know, fucking car building. I want to know what my problem is. My only therapy is the show. And that's pretty healthy. But I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think. Diagnose me. Hashtag um, her Ben's head. That one feels good. When we started watch bots, I don't know why. One of the things I was against up front was just re repeating things a lot, right? Like it just felt like we'd run out of ideas if we did that, right? You know, if you did GI Joe every two months, what else is there to say at a point? Like, hey, Duke, he's pretty crazy. But sometimes life comes up. And life finds a way, to quote the great Dr. Ian Malcolm. But we still want to have fun when life gets in the way. So with that in mind, we are very proud this week to present you with another commercial break. Robo! Only one film this summer has Robo Action. Robo Heat. Robo Power. Robocop 2 Maximum Crash. Rated R. Starts Friday, June 22nd at theaters everywhere. Dave, Shailen, and I have each selected a few, and we'll talk about them, talk about the context behind them, what they're all about, and it's a nice little ball of nostalgia wrapped up in a big bow and presented to you as the gift that I hope you perceive it to be. What is wrong with my attention span today? Just thinking about TV shows I need to watch. Anyway, that's a good enough spot to call it, I think. So this is Ben, signing off. And until Monday, be like star of stage and screen Telly Savalas, and be a Kojak and not a Cujo. And I'm not really sure what that means, but you might. Bye.